We had a scenario in Heineken where we are a really passionate company, we are really enthused about our products um, and we had quite a complex learning setup. We had lots and lots of different people doing quite a lot of different things um, and what we wanted is we wanted to find a partner that could help us have an organisational wide view of learning. What we found is when we were partnering with Helmsley Fraser, it transpired that Heineken have a lot of, uh, I guess, uh, different, a lot of different processes and, and uh, approaches in how we do things. So that was quite challenging, um, depending where you were, depending where you worked, you had a different way of doing things. So we really needed to unpick that. It became, it became quite self-evident, um, particularly when you're trying to create a flowchart of activity and it turns out there's maybe five different versions of that flowchart. So, you know, it was, it was, it was absolutely worthwhile, but um, trying to unpick and get into the detail was, was really quite time-consuming. What has gone well um, was the launch of our website. Um, so it's, a, it's the, we called it iLearn. So it's really the Helms of Fraser Hub, along with a booking portal and that's gone really, really, really well. It's really about having good customer service. In respect of where you work in the business, you can uh, book or you can make an inquiry. You can find what you're looking for. So it's a, almost like a one-stop shop for uh, all colleagues, which is terrific. The digital offering has had been there, but not in one location. Um, and uh, it typically was aligned to particular functions. So again, tough to find, hard to navigate. So it's the whole piece of... We're almost overloaded with information uh, in, I guess, 2019, 2020. So what our website does is it helps uh, colleagues find things a lot more quickly. So part of working with Helms of Fraser, what we recognised right from the outset is the calibre of colleague. Uh, it was really obvious. Heineken have quite an interesting culture where we're quite informal, but we have really high standards. Um, and I think the culture fit worked really well with Heineken and Helms of Fraser. Everyone really knows what they're talking about. Um, and one of the things that I noticed is we really had to go through quite a period of, uh, I guess, prolonged feedback. Um, it's almost like inspection, adaption, feedback, checking. Um, and the Helms of Fraser gang really, really took all of that feedback on board. Not one moment of um, annoyance, to absolute patience. Um, uh, so that's, that's, I guess, a standout for me. The partnership element was really important to us. Um, the customer service within Heineken is really important and having, I guess, a seamless blend of Heineken versus external partners is really important. Uh, so I guess some of the stuff that I noticed was really the ability for the Hemsley Fraser team to be able to take feedback on board, n absolutely no, um, I guess, impatience with us. Uh, there probably was a number of people asking the same different question from, <laughs> from the project team. Um, and so that calibre and that ability to take the feedback, check, move on, was really, really important. For the project team, the relationship really established very, very quickly. We are definitely still working to help the broader part of the business understand who this external partner are. Um, and that's going to take a, that's going to take a bit of time, but every interaction hopefully builds, a, I guess, a sort of a reputational bonus, um, and that word of mouth can can pass can pass around. But that really, for me, it's going to take another year or so, I guess, for the rest of Heineken business to understand what the benefit of a learning service partner can do. Going forward, I think it's just really going from going from strength to strength. Um, what we just want to do is keep the dialogue going. Let's keep focusing on where the basics are. Um, and identify those opportunities. So one of the words that was used quite recently um, in a meeting that we had is this concept of thinking partners. So we really want Hemsley to be a thinking partner for us. We are very busy um, and part of what we're looking to achieve is having in the right moment some thoughts about where should we be going in the future and just trying to be a bit more provocative. Without boring everyone with the detail of Heineken, we have a number of different sections and functions that work quite differently and we really didn't have any manner of tracking spend. Um, not accurately anyway. Um, so what Helmsley have allowed us to do is to really have important MI. Um, so that absolutely was the plan but we it's probably taken us a year to get totally accurate MI and that's part of to do with the inconsistencies in our process but now going forward we can use this MI on budget spend trends analysis all of that type of really critical stuff to make more informed decisions about our learning um, I guess in 2020 and beyond. I would recommend um, Hemsley really based I guess on my previous comments which is the calibre of colleague that are there I think we've got really smart people really capable people 
really, I guess, able to adapt and flex to the needs of their customer. And that's what you want. You don't want an experience with an external supplier where you're just having the same, the same template just replicated in different companies. I think what we really enjoy um, is the ability to look at a problem, solve the problem, um, and then and then move on. And there's there's no ill feeling with any of that. And I think also the appetite um, of the Helms of Fraser gang really to enjoy and learn about our company as well. So those things for Heineken at least are are critically important. We need we need a passionate partner, and that's why I would recommend Helms of Fraser.